This video is going to show you how to make a very old recipe called water pie. But instead of using water, I'm going to use soda pop. And the one I'm going to use is Mountain Dew. You can use whatever soda pop you want, or you can just use the one and a half cups of water in the recipe, whichever you prefer. But I thought it would be a little more flavorful if I used soda pop instead of the just plain water. So you will need one nine inch deep dish pie crust, one and a half cups of water, four tablespoons of all purpose flour, one cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and five tablespoons of butter cut in pieces. So we have the one cup of sugar. We're gonna put it in this bowl and we're gonna add our four tablespoons of all-purpose flour to that. Your oven should be preheating to 400. Turn your oven on. I'm going to bake this at 400 degrees. Okay, this is our sugar and flour mixture. I'm just going to stir it up together. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. First thing we're going to do, is I've already done, so my pie crust does not get uh, real burnt on the top before the filling's done. I make a little aluminum foil ring, just cut out of a piece of aluminum foil, so I can put it around the crust once we get everything in there. And that way the edges don't burn. So first you need your liquid, which is one and a half cups or one 12 ounce can of soda pop. Just dump it in there. Like I said, you can use water instead if you want. The very old recipe, because it's called water pie, only used water. But we're going to go a little fancier. Then after you put that in, you have your flour sugar mixture. And all you do is sprinkle it in. Do not stir it. Just sprinkle it in. Just like that. Sprinkle it in everywhere. Try to make it, you know, evenly around the whole pie crust. Because you will not stir this. This is just sprinkled in okay that is our flour sugar mixture then we drizzle in our two teaspoons of vanilla just put it in with the same Put it in all the way around because you're not going to stir this like I said you're just going to sprinkle it around okay that is our vanilla then we put in our five cubes of butter just spread them around just like that then we're going to bake this on 400 for 30 minutes and we'll check and make sure that it's cooking okay and then we'll put it in for another 30 minutes so this is just loosely put on so the edges don't get burnt before the inside of the pie is done like I said it's just a regular piece of aluminum foil that I cut in a circle and then cut the hole out to release the steam. So now you're just going to put it in the oven. The last 15 minutes of your pie being in the oven, we take off the aluminum foil ring so the outer crust can get done. Our pie just came out of the oven. It was in there for 60 minutes. Now, if you notice, it has, it's still a little jiggly. That's okay, that's the way you want it. 
you need to let it completely cool at room temperature completely cool and then put it in the refrigerator till it gets cold in the refrigerator which is a couple hours or even overnight is better before you serve so let it completely cool here then put it in the refrigerator covered for two to three hours or overnight and then serve so I hope you like the recipe enjoy your water pie or Mountain Dew pie in this case subscribe to my channel have a good day